Hey guys, whoop, itchy nose, itchy nose. Apparently that means you're gonna fight with someone when your nose is itchy. Anyway, hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jax. I'm a nutritionist and I document my anorexia recovery. Now, you know I like to do a lot of these days where I eat like people that inspire me or I push myself out of my comfort zone by following other people's diets. And a lot of you have asked me to follow a vegan YouTuber or do a vegan full day of eating. Now, plot twist, I was vegan for 14 years of my life and it was, I have so much respect for veganism, the vegan community, for all of you following a vegan plant-based diet and the truth is that when I went into recovery and I had to do what's, I kept relapsing, I still had so many restrictions and so many filters when I was going through a restaurant menu that when I when I really wanted to commit to recovery, I had to make a deal with myself and promise myself that I couldn't have any labels or any emotions attached to any type of food, whether it was a donut, an apple, and I had so many fears around animal-based products, animal-based food, so I was like, okay, I need to get rid of every single food I have, like every single fear I have, every single label I have, not having any restrictions when going to a restaurant or when going through the grocery store, eating anything and everything, making peace with food, making peace with my body. For those of you who don't know, I have osteoporosis because I had amenorrhea for six years, didn't have my period, overtrained, and I know a lot of people on a plant-based diet or in anorexia recovery, they, they lose their period. So I'm showing you guys based on someone that, oh my gosh, I have so much inspiration and like, I'm so inspired by Maddie Limburger. I love her, I respect her. I think she is the most incredible human being that exists, as in she has the most beautiful philosophy when it comes to eating, intuitive eating, listening to her body. Guys, if there was ever anyone that had just the most beautiful relationship around food, it would definitely be Maddie. I'm showing you guys as a nutritionist what I love in Maddie's recipes, how you can eat to optimize your recovery, how you can eat to get your period, to help just Mm, refill that body of yours. I don't believe anyone should go through recovery on their own and I say that every video and I couldn't believe it anymore. So if you do need a friend on your recovery journey, if you do just want to watch me face my challenges to have someone do them with you, then like this video, subscribe to my channel, do this with me, suggest someone you want to see me eat, like in the comment section below, suggest diets you want me to review and anyway, let's get straight into it. Um, a lot of people ask me how much oats I eat when I eat oats and honestly I just eat as much as I'm hungry for and that goes with everything. I don't like measure out or like think about consciously like how much I need to be eating. I'm, I just eat to my hunger and I just eat. I always listen to my hunger signals. If I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat and that goes for like across the board whether it's a cheat day, not a cheat day. So. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that and let you guys know that you don't have to eat a certain way. You don't have to feel like you need to restrict yourself after a cheat day. Like, just eat normally. Enjoy food. Enjoy life. There's so much more to life than just constantly thinking about food. Okay, so if any of you guys are Maddie fans, you will know she is obsessed with oats, as in it's genuinely her favorite dish. So I love that she's obsessed with that. I made this peanut butter and banana with chocolate protein powder. And well, anyway, I would have listed the ingredients anyways. But yeah, oats is still something that I struggle with every now and then, but it's so good for you. Mmm. Oh, 
was so good and so satisfyingly filling, I swear. Now what I love about her is that she's not one of those high carb vegans that avoids fats or that avoids protein or anything. So with that oats, I love that she added in pe like she added peanut butter or chia seeds to her oats. And I use the full cream milk, so you'll see that I use like the coconut almond milk. But guys, especially if you're vegan and you're trying to get your period back, you need to have a combination of those fats, the protein, and the carbs every meal, and to actually eat a decent amount. Like if you're gonna have a smoothie, that's great. Put some oats in your smoothie, put some peanut butter in your smoothie. A lot of the things vegans are deficient in is healthy fats, omega-3s and omega-6s. So just make sure you find a way just to get them in and you do little things by adding chia seeds, flax seeds, nut butters into your foods, tip of the day. Or adding full fat coconut cream. So you'll see the milk I use is like a coconut cream based milk. It's delish. I wake up, I'm like, yes, I get to eat fruit and yogurt for breakfast. Okay, so I'm all nice and showered. By the way, so my nail polish was tripping, and I don't know if you guys are like this, but if I see one chip on my manicure, I gotta peel the whole thing off. So that was a bit of a fail on my side, so I painted it off, and hence the reason my nail color has changed. I just can't stand it. I see one little chip, neck minute, all gone. So it's been a while now, so oatmeal keeps me full for a really long time. I've seen her snacking a lot now on fruits, or she makes a smoothie. But what I have is I found this um, this cashew yogurt and I love that it has the whole vegan cultures in it. So it has good probiotics for your stomach, which is of course essential when we're redoing our digestion. Now, I wouldn't recommend only ever having fruits as a snack because we're all about getting that period life back. So remember, we need the fats with the fruits, we want the protein with it. So I've got the chia seeds in there. I've got everything good and healthy for you, everything that your body's like, yes, feed me. And I'm pretty sure your body says it in that voice too. It gets pretty aggressive when it needs to be fed and nourished. And then I also keep some papaya seeds in there because papaya seeds are pretty much miracle things. They have natural digestive enzymes. Like a lot of the time in the pharmacy, you'll go to the digestive system and you'll see natural pine, like papaya seed extract and that that guys that is anti-parasitic if you have parasites in your stomach anything i always say have some papaya or pawpaw like i call it pawpaw but most people call it papaya and then i have some pomegranate seeds in there again those are a really good source of antioxidants and vital like vital uh, they're a really good source of antioxidants and iron so only they're going to help you with your whole blood count but what they're actually going to do is they're going to prevent further damage like antioxidants are just like time machines you know what i'm saying so i'm going to go eat that and then i'm going to costa with my brother because i do have a slight caffeine addiction i pick and choose my battles that idea as a snack because I saw in one of her vlogs in Bali recently like this year she had like a big thing of pineapple with some yogurt on top my body does not like pineapple I break out in acne all over my face but you'll see what I'm doing now because I'm very much focused on getting my period back on healing my bones in my body so I make sure every single meal doesn't matter what I had the meal before doesn't matter what I'm gonna have later the meal in front of me has to be has to have everything it can't just be carbs it can't just be protein it can't I'm not avoiding any macro I make sure there's a fat proteins and carb in every single meal I eat so that my body gets everything it needs constantly throughout the day instead of going to starvation mode they're not having it and yeah so even though I was really full by um, from those oats they tidied me over for a while but I knew between that breakfast and that lunch I needed to get in a snack so Ergo fruit bowl and it is so freaking hot here right now. It's like 43 degrees today like Celsius I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I think that's like 
Oh, I don't know. Whatever. I, I'll, I'll try and look up. I'll just try and look up a conversion and put it up here. But yeah, like 43 degrees, guys. It's brutal, and it's not even the peak of summer. But I'm off to the Maldives in two weeks, and. I, so at the Maldives, I'm gonna be staying in a hotel where obviously I can't cook for myself and that is a big, big, big scary no-no for me. So that is gonna be a very interesting week and I'm actually excited to show you guys that, show you guys how I'm coping. I'm gonna be doing lots of yoga, teaching yoga. I'm so freaking excited. By the way, check the back of this hoodie. You know you're cool when you have your name on a hoodie. Doesn't mean you're cool. Okay guys, so that salad wasn't actually in a cookbook, but I saw her have it on one of her vlogs in Bali and then she posted a picture of it on her Instagram account and I was like, I've got to have that one day. And it's one of those things you pin and you put on your Pinterest board, but you never get around to actually making it. So like when I was going through her recipes for today, I was like, you know what? This, excuse me, I'm talking to my friends. So that was absolutely incredible. So I did my own little spin on it. That hummus dressing with the falafel, I can't tell you what that did to my soul. That spoke to a part of my soul that, that hasn't been touched in a while, you know? Well, since nitro ice cream. The thing I used to only do is I used to only dress salads or like massage balsamic into kale, like balsamic vinegar or apple cider vinegar. But the fact that I actually used tahini and the hummus, like I made something that I would suggest to other people to have. And massaging it in the kale makes it easier for your tummy to break down if you like this biscuit and you struggle with digestion. And that, like I said, that was absolutely freaking incredible. So easy to put together. It took me like literally two minutes. So in that, I had the golden Yukon potato that I had sliced and baked. Hold on, let me go through this in my mind. The golden Yukon potato that I had sliced and baked, I had the beetroot, I had the hummus and tahini dressing, the falafel balls, the... Wait, I'm forgetting something. Yeah. No shit, Jax. I had the avocado slice on toast because I just wanted to add more carbs into the meal and I love smashed avo on toast. Some people have that as the main meal of themselves, but I was like, no, 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 no. And the whole point of today was I wanted to make really hearty, satisfying meals, like not like lettuce on a bed. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to bulk that. That car sounds very aggressive. Anyway, I'm feeling... I'm so full, I swear to God, after the combination of the oatmeal with the yogurts, with the toast, I always, I, I have a large capacity of a stomach, but I'm struffing right now. And anyway, I'm probably gonna have a snack before dinner, din din, as we like to call it, as of now. But I'm, I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do for my afternoon snack, but I know what I'm doing for dinner. So I've seen her do this in like a couple of her vlogs, and I have her ebook. It's on her ebook and her website. So I'm gonna link the, link the link below. I'm gonna put the link down to the recipe below. And it's her like sweet potato peanut stew. Now you guys know I measure out peanut butter. I'm terrified of peanut butter. Peanut butter is something that was always very scary to me, but it's such a beautiful, healthy, good for you condiment that we're just gonna, just use peanut stew and 
I'm so excited. You know, it's healthy in fats, healthy in protein. It keeps you full. But again, it's got the omega-3, omega-6s, anti-inflammatory acids that you need. It's got oleic acid, so it helps you with your skin, with your, guys, everything. Regrowing hair. Like, you know, when our hair falls out a lot in recovery, Women, if like ladies, you don't want to lose your period. You don't want to avoid the fat and the carbs. So you got to have the things like the things that scare us the most. I suppose I think we're okay with protein, but fats and carbs have been vilified by two separate markets. It's like a lot of the plant-based things had vilified fats, and then a lot of the keto people had vilified carbs. And you know what? It's just you become scared of absolutely everything. So my challenge to you is add something of each to every single meal you have. As you saw me do then with the breads, with the potatoes, with the tahini, with the hummus, with the falafel. Just make sure every single meal in front of you, balance. I had, wait, who is it that used to say that? Oh my gosh, one of my uni professors, he always used to say it's all about balance, balance. He was like Swiss, Austrian, balance. Guys, and I want you to say that to yourself every single meal, it's got to be balanced. So says Jax. I'ma see you for next snack. Tell me, why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I feel lost without you and I just can't be. Okay, so favorite time of the day, scariest time of the day, I don't know what to say about it, but it is snack time. Now, I used to use, when I was vegan, I used to use it as an excuse to only eat healthy foods, to only eat salads, to only snack on things like celery, but no, you've got to be someone that can still have treat fun food. So what I've got here is, it's a Loving Earth chocolate spread. It's a coconut chocolate spread that's got coconut butter in it, cacao butter, just all that fun stuff. And so like, it, it doesn't mean you can't have a Nutella sandwich anymore. It doesn't mean, oh, you should only opt for the veggie snack. Life is all about balance. Now I saw in a video of hers, she was eating a, um, she was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but I didn't want to show you guys peanut butter like three times in a day. I want to show you, you guys like variations, fun ways so that you don't feel that you're only stuck eating like a rabbit. So confident. Why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Want you all night long, want you all night long, want you watch all night, watch all night. During the whole time I was vegan, I would have never touched anything like that because I was just so obsessive about that whole raw mindset. It can only be fruits or vegetables that go into my body, no fats, no nothing like that. I was so scared of comforting treats. I, I was terrified of it. And so that's something to ask yourself in your recovery a lot as well. Are you choosing to go for the celery and hummus? But you have these options. You can have these chocolate sandwiches. You can have a peanut butter sandwich as a snack. A snack doesn't have to only be, you know, because a lot of that, um, the uncontrollable hunger and the extreme hunger comes from mental deprivation. So you can be eating loads of healthy, clean foods, but if you're depriving yourself of the feel good foods, then you're gonna have that mental hunger. You're gonna have that extreme hunger. And I love that with Maddie, she'll go to a bar, she'll try all these raw, fun, vegan treats, these cheesecakes. She'll have a milkshake for breakfast. She'll have a burger for breakfast. And so she has that beautiful, healthy mindset with, with her body, with her food. And that's something that I like. I wanted to show in this video. So not just the clean, nice bowls, but also something that's fun and satisfying and comforting. That's it. I have been craving and wanting to make my sweet potato peanut stew from my first ebook, What I Eat for Life.
Okay, so that was act. Okay, so that was actually an experience. I wasn't so sure about adding that much peanut butter to it, and I was like, should I skimp on the recipe? But that was absolutely friggin' incredible. And my whole goal was today to try and not have any vegan salads in the recipes because I think that's the stereotype most people go to. So I love that with all of her recipes, they are comforting, they're like super hearty and exactly like comfort food type of meals, which was really, really, really exciting. But that fills you up. Oh my goodness, those are some lethal combinations, but it also shows you, you're not always gonna be starving if you're eating foods like that, or if you're following a vegan diet, but anyway, it was absolutely incredible. I hope you guys like this. I might eat something sweet. I do have some Loving Earth in the chocolate. I don't usually see her having sweet treats, but I genuinely cannot go to bed without eating something sweet. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next video.